Hey everyone, my name is Megan and this is Painted and Distressed. Today we are going to be having Christmas in July and the challenge is hosted by Sandra from the Showin's Nest and Sonia from Domestic DIY and there will be a playlist of amazing creators linked down below. So we are going to be taking these three uh, different shaped sized bowls that we got from Dollar Tree that I got from Dollar Tree and they're in different sizes so the first one is 11 and a quarter inches and I am just hot gluing those two together now these are from the catering section um, at Dollar Tree and if you live in an area that has inclement weather um, snow and everything like that I would suggest putting in wind I would suggest putting rocks at the bottom of just the larger bowl before you hot glue them together I live in Southern California where we just basically have Sun fires and sometimes wind so I'm not really worried about it um, and you can also use e6000 or some other type of stronger adhesive than just um, hot glue but we will be wrapping all of these um, so hot glue should suffice. Now I did make this project last year and it is still going strong. So the second sized bowl was a 8 inch and it's fluted, which it doesn't matter because again we're going to be wrapping them. And then I took the smallest one which actually came in a two count pack um, at Dollar Tree and it's a 6 inch sized. So as long as you just have three different sized of the sizes of these bowls, and I'm not going to say just yet what we're making, but I would love to hear in the comments if you pause this video and leave me a comment down below of what you think we're going to be making. I would love to hear. Um, so now we're just going to be hot gluing all of these together. And again, you can use something stronger, but I'm just using a boatload and my big daddy glue gun <laughs> with a whole bunch of hot glue. Um, and again, you can use E6000 or something a little bit stronger, um, but we will be wrapping these for extra um, adhesion. So now I'm taking this big bundle of um, jute nautical rope that I got um, on clearance from Walmart. And I was very excited that I got this on clearance and it's like 98 feet of it. So I'm just taking it and I'm wrapping it around the entire all three bowls, or I guess I should say all six bowls. <laughs> um, and I'm not wrapping the top part because we are going to be putting something on the top. So I'm just wrapping just the sides. Um, and as you can see, I switched to my Sure Bonder detail tip, which I absolutely love this hot glue gun. It's my favorite. Um, and I switched to this one because I don't have a lot of, it, it, it puts out just enough hot glue. Now I did run out, <laughs> believe it or not, and so now I'm using, um, I end up using two packs from Dollar Tree of the nautical rope, and I'm using the eight foot. They have two different sizes. One's an eight foot and one is a nine and a half foot. The nine and a half foot is a little bit thinner, so that's why I chose the eight foot. Um, and then I'm just hot gluing this all the way around. And um, it is the same color, so I got lucky with that. It is a little bit thinner than the original rope, but it's at the bottom and literally no one can tell. Um, and then also, there's other things that you can use too. I mean, you can use the cotton rope from Dollar Tree. Six Dollar and a half hours <laughs> late. Obviously this didn't take six and a half hours, but <laughs> it took a long time. Um, and then I'm just taking some of these containers from Dollar Tree, the Crafter Square, some buttons, and some half wood rounds from Amazon. I, I spray painted them using Rust-Oleum's black matte spray paint. And then I'm taking this wood round that I got from Walmart and it was 98 cents, but you can use, Dollar Tree has all kinds of different signs that you can use um, for this, but I just liked the size of this particular wood round and it was only 98 cents. And then I'm just taking some black felt and then I'm just going to attach it to the top of this. And the black felt I did get from Dollar Tree as well, from Crafter Square. 
And as far as the nautical rope, you can also use, um, you know, Home Depot. They they sell it by the foot. You can um, get it from there or Lowe's. Um, or, you know, you can buy a bunch of packs from Dollar Tree. Probably take, I'd say, about 15 if you make the same exact size. So now I'm taking this package of um, paint pail liners that I got from Home Depot. Walmart sells them as well. And you can certainly use other things. I mean, Dollar Tree has all kinds of things. Containers you can use or um, gift boxes or, I mean, even little hats around Christmas time that they have. But I just, I, I made this project last year as well. And I used the same thing just because I liked the shape of it. And yes, it is thin plastic, so you do have to be careful uh, when you're attaching everything. But um, once everything's said and done, it is actually quite sturdy. Because we are making a hat, a top hat, for this part of the project. Any guesses yet of what we're making? I'm sure it's pretty obvious now. <laughs> And I'm using a um, residue remover or something like that. If it's like a square little like kind of sticky thing that you get from Crafter's Square. And it's really good at removing um, like hot glue strings or even cat hair because I somehow have it all over. Um, but it works really well because I ended up using um, the glue sticks from Dollar Tree. <laughs> They are very stringy. Hey, it drove me nuts. Anyway, so now I'm just attaching the um, glue with <laughs> using my glue gun. I am use I'm attaching the wood round and the paint pail liner, which is now a hat, <clears throat> the top part of the hat. I'm just applying those together, gluing those together. Wow. And um, again, you can use E6000 or any other type of stronger adhesive if you feel necessary because this is going outdoors this is for an outdoor project you most certainly can use this indoors as well but I particularly was using this for outdoors and I am just dry brushing now using Waverly chalk paint and white because I wanted this to look as rustic and as um, old as possible and so I just like to dry brush now painting on felt is not the best thing to do. I mean, it's not fun because, you know, it's like hairy and stuff like that on your paintbrush, but I liked the look. And then I'm just taking some Buffalo Check ribbon, wired ribbon that I had in my stash. I'd like to say I only use this around Christmas time, but that's a lie because I have a thing for Buffalo Check and gingham. I don't know what it is, but I love it. And I use it year round. So anyway, so I'm just using that and I did end up dry brushing on the ribbon a little bit just so it kind of meshed in together with the rest of the hat. And on the rim, I did paint it black, just on the rim part, just, just so it's all cohesive. I didn't paint the underside, but I did paint the rim part. And then now with a generous amount of hot glue, I'm just attaching it to the top of our bowls. And then now I'm taking the buttons that we spray painted and I'm attaching those. And those are from Dollar Tree. And then I just took a jute carrot I had left over from Easter and I did cut it down because it would have been a really big nose. <laughs> and uh, so I just cut it down a little bit. And then now I'm just taking the wood rounds and attaching those as well as the lids for the storage containers. And I did, um, I, I put clear matte spray paint over top of all this just to protect the paint, the spray paint a little bit. And I'm just using, I was gonna do three, but then I decided that was too much and so I just used two. And then I'm just taking some greenery so I can attach it to the side of the hat just to give it a little extra embellishments. And this is just stuff I had left over um, from the holidays. And um, if you wanted to recreate this, I would suggest saving 
definitely subscribing to my channel, but also saving this video uh, in your watch later. So that way you have it and you don't have to go searching for it during the holidays. I do that all the time. I have so many videos saved and I always go back to them when I want to recreate something or just get ideas. It's a good tool that they have. Anyways, and then um, because Dollar Tree has all of this stuff around the holidays to use, but you can also be creative and use other things as well because this is so neutral that it could be used throughout the, win the entire winter time. It doesn't have to necessarily be just around Christmas. And that was just kind of the point of why I wanted to make this particular one in a neutral palette. So I'm just attaching a couple bells and bits and baubles I had lying around from the holidays. And I believe that's a pine cone also from Dollar Tree. The berries would be really cute. I made one of these, like I said, um, last year. And um, I put berries in the hat and that looked really cute. And those are also, of course, from Dollar Tree. And then now I'm just sprinkling some fake snow that I had left over. I had an entire package left over from the holidays and I'm just using some spray glue also from Dollar Tree and I'm applying a generous amount of both different kinds of spray glue just to ensure that it all stays on because I want this snowman. I want him to look like he's been out in the weather and he's been out in the snow and um, and then I just take some Waverly chalk paint in the color white and then I'm just dry brushing. I dry brush the entire thing. Um, all of the jute, all of the buttons, even his orange nose. I dry brush all of it. And dry brushing is just, basically I'm not applying a full coat of paint over it. And here's the final product. I did uh, take an old scarf and attached it to him. And then I also put some more of the fake snow and, and then the spray glue on top of it. And there he is. I think these are just so cute. And it stands about three, well, almost three feet tall. It's a good size, especially for your outdoor porch decoration. I made those um, fake presents last year as well, and they do light up. And I'll probably be making them for my channel this year, so stay tuned for that. So make sure you're subscribed and you comment and you like down below in this video. It does help me out. And here is the sled and the snowman I made last year. And then that fake snow that I have down at the bottom, that's um, from Walmart. You just add water and it feels and looks just like real snow. It's amazing. You can get it from Amazon too. And it's good for the kids too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.